through Welcome to Boston. It's been a crazy few days for you. Yeah. Walk me through when you first found out about the trade and then the steps to now getting to Boston. Yeah, um, found out about the trade on Wednesday, like maybe around midday. Had a good old agent here call me and, and tell me I needed to uh, wake up from a nap. So it was, um, got that call and then got on, the got on the phone with Portland from there and they were super honest and open, asked me what I wanted to do if I wanted to stay or uh, be dealt somewhere else and Joe over there and Chauncey Billups did a great job of getting me to a great spot where uh, where I have the chance of winning another championship. You had your first practice today with your new team. You said you were a little bit nervous going yeah, out there. How, yeah. how was it? It was good. Um, I was nervous. I was excited though. Um, I, I think you just, <clears throat> especially when you come into the team, it's different when you come in a day before a training camp, you know? Um, you already had guys here who were playing and getting to know each other, um, working out together and building that bond and that chemistry. And I'm kind of the new kid. So um, just just a little nervous of getting out there. I hadn't played since Wednesday. And then getting out there to play with and against some of the best players in the league. Um, I just need to get my feet wet a little bit. And then once that, once the nerves and everything went away, it was great. Not only did you say you, you were hoping that it was going to be the Celtics when everything was going on, but the Boston Celtics wanted you. Yeah. Brad Stevens had said that even when he was coaching with the Celtics, he'd go into Danny Ainge's office and, and ask about you. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to know just the investment that the organization has in you? It means a lot. Um, it means a lot when they're committed to a player and, and uh, they have that trust. And, and, and I think by saying that out loud, um, kind of solidifies that trust in the player. So uh, for Brad to tell me that, and, and again, Brad was one of the coaches that I would have loved to play for um, when he was coaching. So I think us meeting at this point really must mean something. You now have Joe Missoula as your mm -hmm. head coach. You said he was sending you clips right away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just your impressions of him now going into his second year. Um, great guy, super honest, uh, super straightforward. I think that he uh, doesn't beat around the bush and uh, he's here for one purpose, uh, not only to win a championship, but to make in every individual a better, better person and basketball player. And um, I think getting the chance during All-Star break last year or during All-Star last year to get to know him just a little bit, a uh, faith-based guy, which I am, I am as well. Um, it was just a good connection to, to, to come here and uh, him send me clips and already know that like I'm invested and, and I need to be uh, as caught up as quickly as possible. I'm sure you've heard, but the guys have been here early practicing even before training camp, and mm -hmm. they were saying that both Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum were the ones kind of focusing on that and really setting that foundation. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you to know that you're coming into that, and also how do you want to elevate them too? Yeah, I think when you see your best players um, lead the way, and again, they, have, they could be somewhere else training. They could be in Miami or LA. They could uh, be all over everywhere and, and get an individual training wherever they want to better themselves. But I think when you see them here in the off season and they're here with the young guys teaching them and they're here even with some of the vets building that chemistry and teaching them as well and, and possibly even learning, um, it means a lot. Uh, it means that they are committed. Uh, it means that their, their goals that they want to reach, they want everybody to be on the same page. And, and it means a lot for me to kind of step in here and maybe try to help him elevate that and make the, make the game easier for him. Another familiar face, Charles Lee. You, you were with yeah, him in Coach Milwaukee, Lee, yeah. and now he's with the Celtics. Yeah. Just that reunion. Yeah, it's great. Um, familiar face. Uh, our kids have, have grown up together for three years in Milwaukee, um, and that's just off the court. Our, our families are close, our wives, but on the court, he's always been somebody who's communicated very well. And here, me coming in so quickly and abruptly, um, catching me up on plays. Um, being able to sit down with me on film, being able to go out there with me and talk through things uh, in a way that obviously I'm used to because we know each other um, has definitely been a bit of comfort. One last question before I let you go. Uh, what, what do you want to say to the Celtics fans for this upcoming year and just addressing Celtics Nation? Uh, that I'm happy to be here, that I'm so excited for this opportunity to try to win that 18th banner. Um, growing up a Laker fan, I think at one point me hating to see the 2018 win, uh, it just kind of becomes a 180 and now I'm trying to 
uh, won that 18th banner here is something that means more than anything to me. Uh, I've won before and I know how hard it is, so you will, these fans will give my all. Well, we're very happy to have you here as well. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks.